Why does the immune system turn against itself in arthritis? Imagine your body's defense team suddenly mistaking your own joints for enemies. That's what happens in arthritis, especially the autoimmune types like rheumatoid arthritis. Instead of fighting harmful germs, the immune system starts attacking the tissues in your joints. This mix-up happens because the immune system loses its ability to tell the difference between what's foreign and what's part of your body. Normally, it produces antibodies that target bacteria and viruses to keep you safe. But in autoimmune arthritis, it makes antibodies that attack the synovium, which is the thin lining around your joints. This causes inflammation, swelling, pain, and over time, damage to bones, cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. Several factors play a role in why this self-attack occurs. One big factor is genetics. Some people have specific genes, like variations in the HLA drive for gene, that make their immune cells more likely to misfire. These genes don't cause arthritis alone but create a predisposition. Environmental triggers also matter a lot. Things like smoking, infections, or inhaled irritants can activate immune cells abnormally. For example, breathing in cigarette smoke or silica dust can stimulate immune receptors and enzymes that change proteins in a way that makes the immune system see them as threats. This can lead to the production of autoantibodies that attack joint tissues. A key process involved is called citrullination, where normal proteins are chemically altered. These citrullinated proteins can be mistaken as harmful by the immune system, prompting the production of anti-citrullinated protein antibodies. These autoantibodies are often present before symptoms appear and help drive joint inflammation and damage. Immune cells like T cells, B cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells become overactive and releases chemicals called cytokines that promote inflammation. This causes the synovial lining to thicken and produce more inflammatory chemicals, leading to tissue destruction. Overactive osteoclasts, cells that break down bone, also contribute to joint damage. All these factors interact in complex ways. It's not just one thing but a combination of genetics, environment, and immune system, quirks that cause the immune system to turn against the joints. Understanding this helps researchers develop treatments that aim to calm down the immune response and prevent joint destruction. Current therapies target different parts of the immune system to reduce inflammation and slow disease progression. So, in simple terms, the immune system starts attacking itself in arthritis because genetic predispositions and environmental exposures cause it to see normal joint proteins as threats. This breakdown in immune tolerance leads to chronic inflammation and joint damage. It's a miscommunication in the immune system that triggers this self-destructive process.